Sabbath afternoon, May 25. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the import of these lessons that we're reading this quarter. The fact that there is a disaster that has occurred in the past that is ongoing, but because of your grace and your love and the salvation offered through Jesus, there will be an end to this disaster with the salvation of those who put their faith in you. And as we study this lesson this week, as we look to Jesus as our Saviour, we pray that your Holy Spirit will guide us and bless us in our study. May the words that we read this week be a blessing to ourselves and to those we associate with. And today I'd like to pray for Dolores in Las Vegas and Andrew Green. And thank you, Andrew, for your prayers and for Felix Amparo and for Ignacio Navaretta. Thank you very much for your contact uh, to me regarding um, the benefit to you of uh, these readings of the Adult Bible Study Guide. And Lord, as we study your word this week, I pray that we will not only be blessed, but show that blessing to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory text this week comes from Revelation chapter 12 and verse 17. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Let's read that again, Revelation 12, 17. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Through intensive Bible study, Adventists came to understand the significance of the law in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. Looking into the heart of God's law, they also discovered the significance of the Sabbath, the fourth commandment. In fact, this commandment, more than any other, clearly identifies God as our creator, the foundation of all true worship, a theme that will be especially relevant in the final days of Earth's history, as we read in Revelation 14, verses 6 to 12. Then I saw another angel flying in midair, and he had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, who made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulphur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment will rise for ever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and his image, or for anyone who receives the mark of his name. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God, who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. Satan's aim from the beginning has been to thwart the worship of God through undermining the law of God. He knows that to offend in one point means to be guilty of all, as it says in James 2.10. So he encourages people to transgress God's law. Satan hates the Sabbath because it reminds people of the Creator and how he is to be worshipped. But it also is enshrined in God's law in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. Because the law is what defines sin, as long as people seek to be faithful to God, then his law must continue to be valid, including the Sabbath commandment. The aim of this lesson is to show the link between the sanctuary, God's law, the Sabbath, and the coming crisis over the mark of the beast. We also will explore the relevance of the Sabbath to an end-time generation. And if you want to do some reading, chapters 25 to 27 of The Great Controversy go with this lesson. 
This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.